This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to replace a failed hard drive using the SAS 5 IR utility and a PowerEdge 840 server. Um, so if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. In the description of this video, we are going to post our PowerEdge 840 parts guide. Um, and this is a very helpful guide, whether you are replacing parts or planning to upgrade your PowerEdge 840 server. This is an awesome guide that will give you all of the part numbers, and we will also post videos on how to install um, numerous different components at the bottom of this page. So check this page out. Bookmark it if you have, if you have a PowerEdge 840, because uh, it'll be a very, very useful free guide for you. All right, so let's get to replacing the drive. Um, so we're basically going to simulate this. Um, we're showing you post here, um, and... Our SAS 5 IR controller is initializing. Um, it's looking for drives, and, and we're going to find out that um, it's degraded because one of your drives is probably blinking amber at this point. Um, so when it says that and the drive is blinking amber, you probably have a failed drive. So we're going to go into the RAID utility by hitting Control-C, and this will take a little bit of time. And we're going to go check out the RAID utility to see what's going on. All right, so once we get into the RAID utility, hit enter on the SAS 1068, and then go to RAID properties using the arrow keys, and then hit enter on RAID properties. All right, so we're going to pause this for a second. All right, we see that our primary drive is working, so our system is still bootable, but it shows that we're degraded here. So um, we're not even seeing our failed drive. Sometimes it'll say, like, predictive failure. Sometimes it'll just show as missing. So what we want to do at this point is actually insert our our, uh, our new drive uh, and if you've already inserted inserted your new your new drive then it's going to show up um, kind of something like this here after we exit out and we go back in by hitting raid properties again so now we've inserted our new drive so we're going to go to view existing array and then we see that it's not synced so this is our replacement drive we're going to go to manage array and then we're going to click on synchronize array and then we're going to hit why when prompt all right so now you can see it says zero percent synced so you can actually exit these this utility and you can let this sync in the background it's going to run a little bit slower but it'll eventually get to 100 percent. so syncing drives will take a while um, if you go ahead and reboot um, it'll stop the syncing process so don't reboot um, definitely just let it take its course, uh, boot back into windows. It'll still be degraded for a little bit. Once it gets to hundred percent sync, which will depend on the size of the, or capacity of the drive, uh, then you'll, you'll gain your throughput back and everything will be happy. Um, so that's, that's basically all there is to it to replace a failed drive. Um, obviously you need to locate the failed drive before you can do this or, or look at a replacement drive. And we provide, uh, tons of different part numbers for you on our greenpcgamers.com blog page that will be in the description of this video. Uh, so if this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, we do a bunch of other PowerEdge 840 videos that might be helpful to you as well. Um, so definitely check us out. Check out our other videos. And thank you so much for watching.